Hi everyone. Today in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to implement custom deep links in your app. This extension allows you to open custom screens when your deep links are clicked. This extension also works with changes made with the Android 12 SDK. You can simply generate this extension for your website with a very easy generator available on the AI2 Store app as you can see here. Now firstly, we will be generating this extension for our website link, so let's move to AI2 Store app and generate it. I have opened the deep link extension page in AI2 Store. This extension cannot be downloaded from here. As I click on the download button, it will show me error, as said earlier that this extension will be generated by the deep link generator, so let's generate it. On the side menu, you can see an option of deep link. Here you can use the deep link generator. This won't be visible if you have not purchased the extension. Now, as the instruction, we will enter our domain name and the path prefix to generate the extension. Make sure you don't include www or https in the domain name. And you path prefix must start with the slash, then you can enter your full link that you want to be opened by your app. Once the details filled, you can simply click on the Generate button and the extension will be downloaded in your device as you can see in the notification. Now we will use this extension in our Codular project. In our Codular project, I have already imported and dragged the extensions. You will receive two files when you will generate this extension. One for Deep Link and the other extension for generating Asset Links JSON that will be uploaded in your hosting to make Deep Link work in Android 12. You can remove this extension from your project after generating the assets link. So let's add some components and implement the extension. In the block section we don't have much work. We will just register the screen that we want to open on the deep link on the screen initialization. Now we have a block is deep link. We will use this block with if condition to detect if our app is opened by the deep link and will set the URL in the label and also show an alert with it. You can do anything that you want in this condition. In addition, there is an event in the extension that is triggered when the app is already opened and another deep link is opened. You can handle these types of link in this event. For now I will just show an alert. You can do whatever you want. Now we will use the Asset Links extension to generate the Asset Links for Android 12. There is only two blocks in the extension one for generating and another is event for generated. Also this extension does not work in companion due to signature. We will use the device tools component to copy the generated Asset Link so we can paste it in our hosting. Now we have done all our work to set up the deep link in our app. Also one important thing that I would like to tell that if your app is on Play Store then on your Play Console, go to the Deep Link section. Here you can find all of your Deep Link that you have added to the extension. Just click on the arrow and the first header then you can find the Asset Links here. You must use this Asset Links when you publish your app to Play Store. But if you uploaded the signature now then your app would not work as the signatures will not match. So let's back to our project and export our app. I have opened the app now, and as you can the asset links JSON has been generated and copied automatically, I also got the alert before. Since the JSON is copied, we will now paste it in our hosting. In your hosting, you have to create a file named asset links, JSON in the well-known folder in the public HTML directory. Here you have to paste your JSON in a square bracket. But as you can see, I have already added an app so I will just add comma and will paste it after here. You can format this JSON, now just save it. Also in the Google Digital Asset Link Statement Generator, you can check that your JSON has been pasted correctly. Just fill your signature and other details here and click on Test Statement button. As you can see, I have got the success message meaning that my JSON is correct. In my emulator's messaging app, I have already stored two links that I will use to open my app as you can see here. Now click on the link. The app is opened with URL texted on the label, and we got the deep link alert too. 
Now let's open another link without closing the app. And we got the deep link resumed event meaning it's working when the app is open too. So this was the tutorial showing how you can implement deep links in your app. I hope you liked it. If you have some question regarding this then you can ask in the comment. I will be making more tutorial to explore more extensions, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.